Okay, welcome back guys. We have another question from chapter 4 of Beer and Johnson textbook and we have a force P with a magnitude of 90 pounds that is applying to member ACTE and it's supported by a frictionless pin at point D and a cable ABE. Uh, we know that the since the cable passes over a small pulley at point B, the tension may be assumed to be the same in portions of AB and BE. And we know that also the distance A here is 3 inches and we need to determine the tension in the cable and the reaction at point B. And before we start, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. It's going to help us to reach out to more students and the channel is going to grow faster. And let's start as always with the free body diagram. So we have the force pin here at point D we have a pin which means we have both x and x and y components so we'll call this dx dy and we have the tension in the cable which let's call it t and since it's one single cable and we know from the question that the tension will be the same in portions of a b and b so we will have another t in here and there would be all the information that we have for this question if you want to figure out the angle that this force the tension in the cable is making with horizontal we can go with this right triangle here which this side is 5 this side is 12 and if we do the Pythagorean theorem we get the hypotenuse 13 so we're going to start with the equilibrium equations we have sum of all moments equals zero and sum of all forces in x and y direction zero and obviously we have two unknowns at point d which makes sense to start with finding the moment about point d counterclockwise positive as always and we can go with our 2d shortcut that we have for finding the moment so we have the moment of the tension applying at point E and since it's a, it's a counterclockwise moment it will be positive so we will have T times the distance will be the distance A which we know is 3 we have the moment of force P which is also counterclockwise so positive and also we know from the question that P is 90 so 90 times the distance will be 12 so from e to c would be our distance uh, so the distance would be what we have in here which is 12 minus 3 or 9 and we also have the moment of the other tension at point a over here which we're going to break it down to x and y component so this will be if we call it ty and this will be tx so ty we can see that it's going to make a clockwise moment so we have a negative sign we know ty is t times if we call this angle alpha which is what we have in here the y component will be the sine of alpha which is 12 over 13 and if you want to go for the distance the distance will be what we have in here which is 7 and next would be also the TX moment, if we look at the TX, we'll see that this moment is also a clockwise moment. So negative, this time we'll go with the X component, which is 5 over 13. And the distance will be uh, from the point that we're finding the moment about to the line of action, which this will be the line of action. So the distance will be what we have from here to here, which is 9 equals zero the only unknown in here would be our t and we can figure out t and that would be 117 pounds and after this we can go with our fx and fy to find the other unknowns at point d so if we do the fx and this is our positive direction for x we have dx minus tx plus b minus t equals zero and we figure out that our tx is t times 5 over 13 we know p is 90 so we have 
dx minus t, which we found 117 times 5 over 13 plus p, which is 90 minus 117 equals 0. And we only have one unknown in here. And dx will be 72 pounds. And last would be sum of all forces in y direction. And for that, we have dy, which we consider upward and we have the, the y component of this force or ty and that would be o and dy will be minus ty which was 117 times 12 over 13 and here we get our dy minus 108 pounds and the negative sign shows that uh, this is actually the correct reaction for d and if you want to find d reaction at d and the angle that it makes so our dx is positive but our dy was this direction and if we call this angle alpha we know alpha will be the tangent of dy over dx and uh, tangent reverse of dy over dx and alpha will be tangent reverse of 108 divided by 72 and alpha would be 56.3 degrees and if we want to find the magnitude of d we'll have dx squared plus dy squared so we'll have 108 squared plus 72 squared and we'll get our d 129.8 pound and the angle would be 56. Point three degrees and that would be the final answer for this question uh thanks for watching you guys take care and i'll see you in the next one